Hello my beautiful YouTube followers. Today we'll talk about whether or not you should train with only barbells and dumbbells or if you should train only with machines. Now I think the answer lies somewhere in the middle with a lean towards barbells and dumbbells. The way I personally train, the way I achieved my physique is with a mix of barbells and dumbbells with one exercise on a machine and the rest on barbells and dumbbells. Now, I don't want to say that only training with barbells and dumbbells will build you an aesthetic physique, but look at the picture of a good friend of mine who only trains on machines, who is basically the complete opposite of me. And look at a picture of me. I train mostly only with barbells and dumbbells, so free weights, including body weight, and with one machine per, 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 per training day. So we're pretty much the complete opposite and you need to decide where you want to be on the spectrum. Do you want to be strong, aesthetic and be mass, be, be, be more like high testosterone? Like the, I, the full athlete build, right? The strong athletic build or the bodybuilder build that has maybe a little bit more muscle. Now he doesn't have more muscle than me. He's not stronger than me or, or something. I'm stronger and bigger and younger, <laughs> um, which pretty much speaks for my training routine. So I would recommend this training routine for you since it also builds a lot more confidence. I believe that machines make you an unconfident bitch because when I tell him, hey, let's do a bench competition. Let's see who is stronger. He will immediately say, yeah, you, you're stronger. You're stronger. And you know, it's like you can either be a warrior in garden or a gardener in war. The reason I'm telling you it in this way is I can always go to machines and go full stack for 10 to 15 reps, but he cannot go to overhead press and press 135 above his head. He can't do that. So you need to really decide, do I want the extra benefit of being strong and aesthetic or do I just want to look like a muscle pack and Tom Platz described this once as modern bodybuilders look like aliens past bodybuilders and I really want you to look into this bodybuilders who trained with a lot of machines they look isolated they look as if they only build the big muscles and people who trained with a lot of free weight things, they look round, they look complete, they look like a strong masculine man. And I will always go for the strong masculine build in which I can be confident. Now I've put a full training routine for people who want to train like me, for people who want to train with barbells and dumbbells and body weight in the description of this video that you can follow, that you can just make a screenshot of, put it as your post it in your home gym, post it on your refrigerator, just get comfortable with that training plan being your new training plan. And if you want to train like that, I will absolutely invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I give tips alongside that training routine. I give you tips to be stronger on that training routine and to be stronger in your mind as well as your body. Training with barbells will not only develop a stronger physique, a stronger body, but also a stronger mind. Because training with free weights is always more painful and harder on the muscles and the joints. It's always harder to do bent over barbell rows than on a machine doing rowings with one machine. It's always more controlled, but the reason is real life isn't controlled. You don't have perfect range of motion and perfect muscle isolation in everyday life. And I think the physique that most people strive for, which is built mainly by machines, is useless. When you want to lift something heavy, you do a full body movement. You don't do a bicep curl uh, with, with a plate below you and with with perfect range of motion when you do these things you don't squat up a, a heavy fucking thing whilst you're completely safe 
it's not safe to lift something heavy and it shouldn't be you should have some form of fear that you need to overcome in the gym and for me barbell workouts have boosted my testosterone through the roof i feel better after a bad barbell workout than i feel after a nice machine workout there's always this layer of protection over me there's always this feeling as if i was too warm as if i was still in my blanket as if i was a kid who was being protected by his mom when i train with machines and when i train with barbells i'm put out of my comfort zone for at least one and a half or two hours of my day and i love that time i love going to the gym since i train with free weights and i think even if you make a little bit less muscles with free weights it's worth the trade-off it's worth the trade-off of your workouts being more fun your testosterone being higher and your body being stronger a fun time in the gym is the key to consistency yes you can be disciplined yes you can be the guy who's in the gym grunting every single time but it doesn't have to be like this the gym can be your your space where you hate it or the gym can be your place where you love it and i guarantee you the guy who starts this today and makes his gym journey fun instead of grueling and stupid for some reason it doesn't even make a difference that is the guy who will be training 50 years down the line the guy who is on machines will quit going to the gym or will go to the gym significantly less whilst he's on this job start training with barbells today or you're gay have a nice day and master your mind